Hey, I'm Tim. Today on Learn TV, I want to show you how to get this, your PlayStation 3, talking to this, your Vio Notebook computer, using this, DLNA. This is Learn TV. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> There's a lot to like about DLNA. DLNA is an industry standard protocol that is designed to allow devices that can connect to a network to connect to each other without a lot of complicated configuration. So forget about things like sharing certain drives or configuring MAC addresses. All of that complicated network stuff is dealt with automatically using DLNA. So DLNA is primarily designed to allow you to share media across your network. So photos, music, and even video that you have stored on your computer can be easily streamed over your network to devices like your PlayStation 3 or even selected Sony televisions. Today, I want to take you through the steps of getting your Vio Notebook computer configured so that you can share media from it on your PlayStation 3 and onwards to your big screen TV. The first thing you need to check is whether or not your Vio is running the right software. The application that we're looking for is one called Vio Media Plus, and it's been standard on Vio Notebook computers for around about the past 12 months. Once you've confirmed that you've got the right software installed, the next step is to put these devices onto your network. So if you've got a broadband internet connection at home, chances are you've already got everything that you need to make this happen. In my case, I'm going to connect the PlayStation 3 using a wired connection to my router, and the Vio Notebook computer can connect wirelessly to that router. Despite the fact that one connection is made wirelessly, we can still actually share media from the Vio computer to the PlayStation 3. Setting up the PlayStation 3's connection is simple. I just go into the cross media bar, select the network connection options, and confirm that the connection has been made. Likewise, on the Vio, I simply need to join the network that I have in place. I'm using a wireless router here, so I connect to the wireless network that I have already set up. The most common thing that will prevent these two devices from talking to each other is a firewall. If you're running Windows Vista, the firewall is typically turned on by default. The firewall is basically just there to protect you when you're surfing the internet from people trying to access your computer and your files. So it's important that it remains on. Fortunately, when you're using Viomedia Plus, it will add the media that it shares with your PlayStation 3 as an exception to the firewall. This means that the security of your network is not compromised in any way, but for sharing your media across the network, you'll be fine. Vio Media Plus works by collecting the media that's on your notebook computer. That means that it doesn't copy any content from one place to another on your hard drive, it simply adds references to it within the software. That means your music, your photos and your video remain in the same place that you originally put them on your computer, but Vio Media Plus facilitates sharing them over the network. So the first thing we need to do is set Vio Media Plus up to actually start collecting your media. By default, Vio Media Plus will collect media from the standard folders that Windows Vista uses to store your photos, your music, and your videos. However, if you'd like to add additional locations for Vio Media Plus to search, you can do so simply within the configuration utility. If you have a lot of media on your computer, it may take some time for Vio Media Plus to collect and analyze it all. However, once it's done, you can now access it through your PlayStation 3. So the next step is getting this set up on the PlayStation 3. Once you've got your PlayStation connected to the network and you have Vio Media Plus running, it's quite a simple process. The first thing I should clarify before we go any further is that your PlayStation 3 does need to have the most up-to-date software that is available. You can check this by going into the settings bar and right at the top select system update. Once your PlayStation 3 has got the most up-to-date software, you should be able to see Vio Media Plus underneath Photos, Music, or Video. If you don't, 
you search for media servers to start searching for Vio Media Plus on your network. Once your PlayStation 3 has recognized Vio Media Plus as a media server, it's as simple navigating through the content that is on your Vio computer as it is navigating through any content that is on your PlayStation 3. So you can view back videos, view photo slideshows, and listen to music just like you would if they were directly connected or on the PlayStation 3's hard drive. So that's it. You now have access to any of the media that was available on your Vio Notebook computer through Vio Media Plus directly on your big screen TV through your PlayStation 3. I hope you enjoyed this look at DLNA. Thanks for watching. Yeah.